Welcome to Reality Radar, your destination for thought-provoking investigations and mind-bending mysteries. Today, we're delving into one of the most enduring enigmas in American history, the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. We'll be asking the question that has perplexed historians, investigators, and conspiracy theorists for decades. Was there a second shooter? Let's journey back in time to November 22, 1963 in Dealey Plaza, Dallas, Texas. The day started as any other with JFK and his wife Jacqueline in a motorcade waving to the adoring crowd, but within moments the cheerful atmosphere turned into one of shock and despair. Three shots rang out, the president slumped over, America and the world were left in disbelief. The official report the Warren Commission concluded that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone, firing three shots from the Texas School Book Depository. The first shot missed entirely, the second struck the president and Texas Governor John Connolly, while the third delivered the fatal blow to Kennedy. The single bullet theory, or the magic bullet as it's often called, suggests that one bullet caused seven wounds on two people, then ended up nearly intact on a hospital stretcher. However, skeptics have long questioned this narrative. The echo of gunshots, the trajectory of the bullet, the movement of JFK's body after the hit, and multiple eyewitness accounts have fueled the theory of a second shooter on the infamous grassy knoll. Some even claim to have seen smoke or a flash of light from that area, consistent with a gunshot. Moreover, acoustic analyses of recordings from that day suggest the possibility of a fourth gunshot from a different location. Yet, these findings have been disputed, criticized for their methodology and interpretation. On the other hand, the evidence against a second shooter is substantial. The bullet fragments found in the limousine match the bullets from Oswald's rifle. No credible evidence of another gunman has ever emerged. No second weapon, no second nest, no second bullet. The majority of witnesses heard three shots, and many eyewitnesses confirmed seeing Oswald in the sixth floor window. So, where does that leave us? The official narrative presents a lone gunman, a tragic trajectory, and a single bullet that caused unimaginable damage. Yet the shadows of doubt persist, with the echoes of possible additional gunshots, the controversial bullet trajectory, and the persistent belief in a second shooter on the grassy knoll. In the end, the question remains. Was there a second shooter in the JFK assassination? The evidence points in different directions, leaving room for interpretation and speculation. The truth may forever be shrouded in mystery. An enigma wrapped in the echoes of that fateful day in Dallas. The JFK assassination, a pivotal moment in history, continues to captivate us, reminding us that sometimes the reality is as elusive as the shadows on a grassy knoll. Thank you for joining us on this captivating exploration of the JFK assassination. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Reality Radar for more intriguing investigations and mind-bending mysteries. And remember, the truth is out there, you just have to find it.